Hi, my name is Freya. I've just graduated Conservatorium Maastricht and I've studied classical composition. As a teenager, I was in a rock band. Actually, I've stayed in that rock band for a very long time. But it also made me realize that while I do like performing, I also know that I am not the strongest performer. But I do know about music and I do love music. And I realized that I like the writing process of it the most. I think having a message that is connected to the times that we live in is a core point to moving people deeply, whether it's a specific phenomenon, socio-political events, the environmental crisis, it can be anything. We are living in very fast-moving times and in very difficult times, so I find it very important to relate to that in any way whatsoever. Of course, music can also be a getaway, a safe space to not be bothered from anything, but I like it when performances have a message that goes beyond the enjoyment or the entertainment of the moment. Something to keep reflecting on and that one can keep as a token for the future. For example, in Shostakovich's music, we can re-experience what he was going through in his time in life. And it's a historic documentation of what was going on for a lot of people in Russia in that time. And so this music that he was writing has a lot of value, historical value and emotional value. I have written an opera that depicts a very intimate situation. It is basically a monologue in someone's head. This someone has, it seems, multiple versions of himself and he's struggling a bit with himself. Also in conversation and how to deal with others in general. I think that we live in a world that is so over flooded with information, the individual gets lost somewhere. And the need for life to be shareable on social media, to be presentable, what happens is that we don't share our vulnerable, our most vulnerable moments. This stays something incredibly intimate. So I wrote this piece because I wanted to depict exactly what is never shown, never seen on social media in that sense. A situation that is purely in someone's head because there is no broadcast for it, so I thought it was important to show this on stage. Being nominated for the Henriette Hustings Prize is, of course, a very big honor. I was very, very surprised and happy to hear that I am nominated for this. The prize money I would spend on the, my future projects because Opera is a very big project. It involves a lot of people and they do amazing work and I want to pay everyone involved appropriately for what they do. If I would be able to continue working as a composer in the future, that would be the dream because that's basically all I want to do. I want to work on projects. I want to realize projects, work with amazing and inspiring people and just create something beautiful that will stay in this world hopefully and hopefully reach some people that will be moved, touched by the things that I do or things that we do as a, as a group of course and as long as I can keep being creative in a professional field that would be all I want from life, all I could ask for. Hello everybody, my name is Anna Þórhildur Gunnarsdóttir, I'm an Icelandic pianist and I have just finished studying with Professor Katja Wittmanns for the last three years. I think it's a musician's moral duty to take a stance and to take action, um, especially in the environment that we currently live in. My generation is going through a great upheaval in the world a global pandemic, uh, the restriction of women's rights, terrorist attacks against the LGBTQ plus community and drastic changes in our society due to global warming, who, which effects we are already seeing today. And I believe that the role of the artist in this context is not just to stand passively on the sidelines and watch, but it's a moral duty to act. 
And the main purpose of our art is expression. And I actually see that expression as a political tool, one of the sharpest and most potent ways that uh, our generation can actually protest and get their message across to the people in power. And I think an artist doesn't deny the truth nor look away, rather they face it and looks it in the eye. And then we use a voice to fight. I have twice made it to the finals of the AIM Awards of Conservatorio Maastricht, where I collaborated with designer Harmony Lee from Canada. I am greatly interested in collaborating with uh, other artists in interdisciplinary uh, projects, because I feel that those types of mixed media provide actually the strongest delivery of the message. In 2021, the theme was Future Forest, relating to the issue of global warming. We collaborated with experimental and experiential designer Josh Baptista to create our project called Microcosm. It was a performance combining classical music with visual arts and plant music um, because we created a sensor that could pick up uh, the electromagnetism in plants. Uh, and with that data, we could generate uh, interactive music, which we incorporated then into our performance. And thus we could mix the music of classical music with the music of plants. I'm very honored to be one of the finalists for the Henriette Hustings Awards. And in the future, I hope to collaborate further with more artists, both classical musicians, but also with other um, people in interdisciplinary collaborations. I'm especially interested in collaborating with visual artists, to create a sort of a storytelling concert experience. And I'm also interested in topics that are part of a global context, but uh, would be focused more on my native country, Iceland, such as experiences of trans youth in Iceland, uh, the greenwashing for the sake of tourism, and the experiences of the women of the Me Too movement. Hi, I'm Sachit, and I've been in Conservatory of Maastricht since 2017. I've been doing a double bachelor's in composition and piano performance. In the past year or so, I've been doing a lot of creative work which required me to think about why I'm doing the things I'm doing and how to do them. And over time, I realized that there are some, some things that I wouldn't compromise upon. And those are artistic integrity, um, accessibility, and sensitivity. With artistic integrity, I always, I always preserve craftsmanship of what I do. As soon as I'm taking uh, something, I know that I want to make a specific kind of work that speaks to me, speaks to my voice and my history. With sensitivity, I want to make sure that I'm connected to what's happening. I'm connected to the project brief, I'm connected to the people I'm working with, so that I take all of these things into account. And I also want to be connected to society in general. Where will society encounter my piece? And who will be there? And why will they be there? And I want to know these things and put them into, into my music. And similarly with accessibility, it sort of rolls straight from sensitivity. I want my art to be accessible. And I had started composing 12 or 13 years ago, and I found myself making an application at Conservatory Maastricht, and by chance, I ended up speaking to one of the composition students here. Then I looked up the, comp uh, the composition professor, which is Vikintas Baltakas, and I was so impressed by his vision, I was so impressed by everything that uh, his students said about him. I went home, made a portfolio, put together things that were like 75% done, made them 100% and sent it. Yeah, I got a positive response, it was super exciting. And it's been more than I could have ever imagined this composition degree. Like, Vikintas is fantastic and he gave me the space to grow. It was exciting to be nominated for the Henriette Hustings Prize. I made the application because um, it spoke to me. The idea of a moving musician, it immediately uh, struck a chord with me. And uh, so I made the application not thinking anything about it. And then I got the email and it was like, oh my goodness, it's, it's happening, you know? If I were to be awarded the prize, I would be extremely humbled. 
it would be very nice. I would probably use the money to invest in um, my, my equipment, my gear, because those are the tools that I need to make, to make my things. And in particular, I am looking, looking in the direction of uh, new possibilities in timbre, in pitch, in tonality, and in connecting my physical expression to digital instruments. I've always wanted to express myself. And honestly, that's, it's the beginning and the end. It's like, I want to make, I want to make things. Um, my dream is always to be able to do that with as little distraction as possible. Um, so be able to do that, to be able to make that, make that's at the center of my living and um, to have access to an artistic community where this is possible and have the, have the equipment, the infrastructure to do this. More than that is impossible to say because the, the journey of the artist is not something that they know. I have to just accept what comes and be ready.